Hey guys, guys, welcome back to another Sports Stuff video. Today we'll be talking about Julio Jones' trade from the Atlanta Falcons to the Tennessee Titans. If you guys do enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I post next. Let's get into the video. Now, Julio Jones is officially dealt by on Tuesday for a second round pick in 2022 and a fourth rounder in 2023 in exchange for him and a sixth round pick in 2023 to the Titans from the Falcons. Now, as we know, number 11, Julio Jones is no longer going to be number 11 with the Falcons. That being said, he will also not be number 11 for the Titans. AJ Brown, the current wide receiver who have been campaigning to get him on the team, will not change his number for Julio Jones. Julio Jones will be taking on number two from the Tennessee Titans. So now we got number 11, AJ Brown, number two, Julio Jones, with Derrick Henry and Ryan Tannehill. And speaking of Ryan Tannehill, to make the trade go down and all the cap to work, Ryan Tannehill converted 15.3, I'm sorry, he cleared 18 million of his guaranteed salary into a signing bonus to spread it over the remaining of the deal. So next year, Ryan Tannehill's cap hit will be 42 million. Instead of 18 and 18, it will now be 42 because he converted 18 million of this year's into next year's salary, uh, into next year's salary. Meaning, he cleared up 18 million of this year's cap for the Titans, allowing Julio Jones 15.3 million to slide right in. And they still have a little bit of cap space to work with if they wanted to do a signing or, you know, extend someone possibly. I don't know what, what, what they really want to do. But at base minimum, Ryan Tannehill's 18 million they cleared off this year lets Julio Jones be on the team. And I expect probably some kind of contract extension to shove some money down, you know, way down the line. But I'm really excited to see what this offense can do. As I said, AJ Brown. Julio Jones, Ryan Tannehill, and Derrick Henry, and that really good offensive line is going to be scary next season. I'm excited to see what the offense can do. That defense still scares me a little bit. But with Arthur Smith now in Atlanta, instead of in Tennessee as the offensive coordinator, now the head coach of Atlanta, I want to see what this Tennessee offense is going to do. We obviously know Derrick Henry's going to run the ball a lot, probably 200 yards a game. But what kind of scheme are they going to do? Is it going to be a zone run scheme? Is it going to be a pass happy scheme? I'm really excited to see what they do. Now they have another weapon for that offense. This bolsters this, this team now into the officially AFC contenders. And I'm excited to see what they can do this year and the future. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace and bye.